Uh, Stefani, how excited is it? Uh, home tournament, uh, playing in front of hopefully a big crowd. Uh, what's the feeling in the team ahead of tomorrow? The feeling of everyone has been really good. We had a good, um, you know, practice day. Everyone went through to, everyone went through um, their routine and you know, feeling pumped and ready for tomorrow. Uh, you've, you know, the home conditions. You probably have seen the pitch. What's your making? What kind of a pitch do you think it'll be tomorrow? I'm not sure what kind of pitch um, will be for tomorrow, seeing that we haven't played much cricket here. Um, but my assumption is I think it would be a, a, a good one, pretty decent. Pretty decent for whom? The batting Sorry? side or the bowling side? Pretty decent for the batters or the bowlers? You mean in terms of the pitch? I can't, I can't, I can't say, it, to be honest, I can't, I can't really say. We've seen Antigua had, a, in the warm-up game as well, had a slightly slow wicket. The practice pitch is a slightly slow. You have a very seam-heavy, uh, pace-heavy bowling attack. Do you see that as uh, a concern or something that might change? Well, we have a pretty balanced team, you know. Um, whatever team we have, we, we pick, you know, basically could do the job. Not necessarily um, seam-friendly or spin-friendly. It's just more likely a balanced team. Good afternoon, Stephanie. Um, congratulations on uh, making the semi-finals. Um, the batting has only really come off uh, once so far this tournament. Uh, are you thinking of changing the batting lineup, and are you uh, happy batting at number three yourself? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much happy with you know my position. Um, so far, we haven't you know thought or thinking of making any changes, and if so, it's. It will be a dis discussion between, you know, coaches and I, but as far as I'm concerned, nothing, really. And um, throughout the uh, series so far, uh, the whole unit seems to have a um, real determined self-belief to it, that uh, whatever challenges that are thrown at you, you feel that you have the uh, confidence to overcome them. Would that be a uh, fair enough assessment? Yeah, we've been, you know, the bowling has been really good, and I believe... The crowd that we had in St. Lucia, you know, imparted on most of the players, or if not all the players, you know, you know, the crowd there was electrifying, and I believe, you know, that transpired, you know, onto, you know, the field of play. And uh, your own form, looking for uh, a big one, obviously. Yeah, I would love to, you know, you know, finish this two games, um, you know, hopefully in the final, uh, you know, with, with two, you know, half a century or, you know, runs that would contribute to team success. Thank you and all the best. You had a couple of legends come by to team training yesterday. Can you talk about what happened then and what they told you and what it meant to the team? Sorry, I didn't get you that. You had a couple of legends come by for team training yesterday. So can you talk about what it meant for the team and what they told you? It was it was nice to see Sir you know Viv and Sir Andy Roberts there. Um, you know they talked to us a bit. You know going into tomorrow's semifinal, it was really nice to hear some you know encouraging words. And you know it, at this stage, you know there's a lot of you know nerves flying around, and you know it's good to hear encouraging words to you know kind of settle that down. So we you know more likely look forward to tomorrow. Uh, the win against the Australians in 2016, does that mean anything ahead of tomorrow? No, it doesn't. Um, you know, that's, that's the past and, you know, tomorrow is definitely what counts. You know, I, I, I have a feeling that the Aussie, you know, might look at it as a revenge. But, you know, for us, it's, you know, that's the past and um, tomorrow games is definitely what, you know, definitely what counts. And that win against England and the circumstances, did, was that like the perfect preparation? You just seemed so pumped and, and to, to get the win then? Yeah, as I said, you know, the, we as players, we've been playing some really good cricket, especially our bowling. Um, you know, confidence level of everyone is, is high. And I think, you know, that belief is, you know, it's just right there. And, I, you know, the girls have that belief that, you know, we could... We could go out there and, you know, do it. 
you mentioned past performances. It's not really being sort of on your mind, but no one has seemed to found a solution to Alicia Haley. Has West Indies done any research on how Australia is playing, and are they prepared? Ah, are, is West Indies prepared to deal with Alicia Haley? Well, we're prepared to deal with any player, not just um, Healy. Yes, she's in form, but you know, at the end of the day, it's not she alone playing. So we we prepared to, you know, for any any player. And Anissa Muhammad hasn't had a lot of games in the tournament, but she is the most successful West Indies bowler against Australia. Does that uh, kind of give her a pip? Well, um, yes, she has been successful not just against Australia, but you know, throughout. And you know, so far the team has been doing well. We have, a, as I said, we have a balanced team. Um, I'm not sure what the team would look like tomorrow, so you know that's the discussion, you know, for with selector, selector, my, um, coaches, and and myself. Just looking ahead to the WBBL, will you be there first round, or you won't won't get there for that because it seems pretty tight. I'm not sure um, in terms of WBBL, but hopefully, I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Just one question for me. Um, you boldly decided to give Knight the gloves for this tournament, and she's delivered in a meaningful way. She, she had two good scores in the first two games, and then she hit the winning run against England under pressure. Can you tell us a little bit about her, because she's a bit of an unknown still, a little bit about her and with the level of confidence that she's having in this tournament? Well, back then with, you know, with Kaisia, like, you know, I like Lefanders, um, Lefan Butters. And I, you know, th I thought that Kaisia has good technique. Well, she does have good technique. And, you know, it was, it was a bit of a toss up. Um, so, you know, I'm happy that, you know, she came and, you know, she got some runs, not just for the team, but for her, because I know that, you know, she, would, she and I would have spoken and, you know, she struggled a bit, you know, in getting runs and I, um, you know, my thoughts, is that she's in a good place and she's, she's batting well, she's keeping well, so I'm happy for her and I think, you know, she's happy for herself and, you know, feeling, and feeling that confidence. Camp Bell in the England game as well, under pressure again and delivering big time. She, she basically won the game, you know, going into the final over, a little bit on her as well because she, she, she was shorter runs before, but she's, she's delivered. Yeah, Campbell is one of, you know, those players when, you know, when, she, when she's needed, um, you know, in a tight situation like that, she pulls, she pulls through. Um, you know, even back then, like, she was out of the team for, for a while, and, you know, she's back, and she's, she's doing good things, so I hope that, you know, she continues to do great things, and I hope that that runs will give her a bit more boost, you know, going into tomorrow's game. And finally, third, well, 10,000 in St. Lucia, 13,000 in Antigua. Um, what does that mean for, for your team in terms of support? What does that mean for women's cricket in general? Well, five months ago, um, I'm not sure anyone or a lot of people would know about, you know, women's cricket. And to see the amount of people coming to the game is elated. And for me, and I'm sure players are elated as well to see the amount of people come to you know, to support women's cricket. And I hope that it continues. So not just for tomorrow, but, you know, it continues for a longer time. Shabdam Ismail had said that she and Cap made the best fast bowling pair. Now your seam bowlers, your pacers have brought in something different. So where do you think, where would you rank your pacers? Where would I? Where would you rank your paces in the world? Great, right. my paces in terms with compared to Ishmael. In the world. I mean, oh, in the, in, in the world. Um, I think they're pretty up there, given this this tournament. They would have worked really hard in, you know, in the camps that we had five six months ago. Um, so I, I believe that the work they have put in, it's you know, it's showed, and I. I would think that, you know, their ranking should improve. Um, 
has the team done any particular preparation in training for high pressure situations technically for high pressure situation um no yeah every situation is pressure no um like philip said uh, handing kaisia the uh, the gloves has given your team space for an extra batter what was the thinking behind that decision considering marissa has been been there forever essentially what was the thinking behind that um well kaisia has been really good in the outfield um i just thought that you know we needed we needed that that space basically maybe to fill somebody else who you know could you know feel on the field and given that we had three keeper um it was hard it was a hard it was a hard decision and you know we thought that kaisia was the you know better better one um so to put in an extra person it was it was a it was a toss up it was a toss up but we we thought that kaisia you know might be the perfect match right there not given the fact that marissa isn't but just at the time when looking at the team situation it was a big risk coming into the world cup sorry it it was quite a big risk to try that out in the world cup i didn't it was quite a big risk to try that out in the world cup no i don't think it, it was um, it it's been discussed in 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 our pre camp and so i don't think it was a uh, you know risk in in the world cup no you said 6 months ago a lot of people in the west indies didn't know about women's cricket after this tournament what would you like to see that uh, to see change in terms of women's cricket on the ground well more more cricket for us um i think that's what we 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 lack we and hopefully you know get to play some test match i would i would love to play a test match so by more cricket you mean international not domestic yeah Uh, well and domestic longer domestic for sure all good <laughs>